Thank you for taking the time to allow me to present today. My name is Skip Braun, and I will be discussing the Dell Client Command Suite with Workspace ONE. Let me just take a minute to, to level set on the tools that we'll be discussing. The Dell Client Command Suite, DCCS, is a collection of tools that Dell provides free of charge to enhance the management for its client systems. They can be used standalone or integrated into many of the most popular management systems today including Workspace ONE. Workspace ONE from VMware is a unified endpoint management solution, UEM, that combines a catalog of apps and services with a layer of identity and device management. I know that's kind of a mouthful and we're gonna talk about a little bit of that. I, I think when most people think of Workspace ONE, they generally think more along the lines of mobile device management. You know, that would be delivering, you know, corporate applications to your phone or tablet or personal device, for instance. In this demo, we're going to focus on just managing corporate laptops and desktops within Workspace ONE. I'll show you how to provision Workspace ONE directly at Dell's factory and take advantage of the DCCS integration within Workspace ONE to manage all of your Dell devices. So with that, let me flip over to our Workspace ONE console. And the first thing that I wanna show you is profiles. Profiles, they're kind of like group policies. They're where you would set up your various settings for your client devices and what you want them to do. You can see here, I have a handful of policies set up. First one here is BitLocker and we can go take a look at a couple of these and see what they do. So this one is just simply setting up my basic variables to run BitLocker and turning it on. So we wanna make sure that all of our devices have encrypted hard drives. The second one, this is just simply setting up your, your various settings and turning on antivirus. These next two, Dell BIOS settings and command update, they're specific to the DCCS integration within Workspace ONE. So let's take a, take a little closer look at those. So in BIOS settings, You'll see that you know I can do things like set a password or, or you know enable a TPM chip or do various different uh, you know BIOS level options here. Uh, I can even go all the way down here to the bottom if one of the settings isn't isn't available up here. I have uh, down here where I can import a configuration package. Now what's that? That is talking about another component of the client command suite called um, configure, where I can set up a BIOS package. Uh, specifically for all Dell machines or for specific Dell machines by model. So this really opens up virtually every option you can set in a Dell BIOS is open to us through configuration package down here, if it isn't up here already. You'll also notice over here on the right-hand side in this kind of notes section is where it says Dell. What that's denoting to us is that this profile, these options are only available on Dell via the Dell client command suite. So the next thing I'll show you is Dell Client Command Update. And what that is doing, not to be confused with uh, Windows Update, is this is going out and we are looking for drivers and BIOS updates, firmware updates, et cetera, Dell software specifically. This is where all of that stuff gets updated. So you can always make sure that you keep your devices at the current BIOS level, current drive, uh, driver levels, uh, I can come down here and toggle on or off uh, driver categories. You know, let's say for instance, uh, I have a large uh, fleet of uh, uh, machines with graphics cards in them that I don't want this to automatically update the drivers. I could disable the video category so it doesn't go out and do that. And you'll also notice here, again, that this is a Dell exclusive feature right here with uh, Dell Client Command Suite and Workspace ONE. So now that you kind of know how the settings get to the machines or get to the devices, let's, uh, let's go take a look at a couple of devices here. Uh, first one I wanna pull open here. You'll see this one is, you'll see kind of a dashboard whenever you open up any device, and you'll see this one is listed as compromised. If we go down and dig into this here a little bit, we can see that there's a problem with the firewall and BIOS verification isn't working currently for, uh, or is at least unknown. Uh, we dig into that a little bit. I can come down here to the profiles and see that only two of the four of the mandatory profiles are applied. So let's dig into that a little bit. 
and we'll see the two that are not as our Dell BIOS settings and our uh, command update settings. We just, just shows install failed here. If we wanna dig into this a little bit more, let's go take a look at apps. And we'll see here that none of our Dell client command suite tools are installed on the client, which is why the profiles can't be applied. So I could either click on one of those or all of those individually and, and click install and push them from here or from the client side, I can also pull those down. So your choice there. So not having any of the Dell client command suite here, you'll notice that I have, you know, I can't do bias verification. And uh, when I look over at my device info here, I get some basic info, you know, serial number and computer name, model, you know, et cetera, but not real detailed stuff. So when I look across the top here in updates, this is your Windows update that we were talking earlier, not Dell command update, that's a different section. And when I click on more, I can come down here and I can see various other aspects uh, of the device. So let's go look at one that actually has uh, the command suite installed on it and see what the difference is. So I know this one, I've been offline for a little while, but I believe this one to be fully healthy. And it is, it has everything that we uh, need on there. You'll see everything's green here. And if we go look down here at the profiles, we'll see all four of the profiles have been applied. Uh, when we go look at apps, we can see all of our DCCS tools along with BIOS verification are installed. We can also see where it's recently run a command update and pulled in some driver packages and applied those to the machine. When we have the command suite loaded on these, our uh, data level gets up, uh, goes up too. As we can see over here on the basic device info, not only do we have all of the stuff we had on a machine that didn't have DCCS, but we also have some additional data like BIOS version and battery health status. And in fact, if we go into more here, it's added a couple items for us here, like BIOS. We could click on BIOS and we could go in here and take a look and see kind of discreetly, specifically what the machine's BIOS settings are, at least the high level ones here. Okay, so that's kind of what the vices look like. The next thing I wanna show you is how do you get, so how do you get your devices into Workspace ONE to start with? That's done through a process called provisioning. And you can do that either on site or we can do that directly at the Dell factory. So let's walk through what provisioning at the Dell factory would look like. So when I go to uh, enrollment, staging, and windows, you'll see that I already have a Dell factory provisioning package set up. Now what a package actually gets you is, at the end of the day, I can download a package file and an unattended XML, and I would ship those off to the Dell factory to apply during the imaging process. So let's see what makes these up, the package and the unattended XML file. We're gonna go in here and take a look at the settings that I have, and you can obviously name it, anything that you want. It is a factory file. So these are the options. And the first thing that we're gonna be presented with here is how do we wanna authenticate? So we have four options. We can do on-prem Active Directory, which is the way that I have it configured now. You could do just work group. We could do Azure premium or not premium. So those are our choices. And as we start scrolling down through here, if you've ever done any image work before, some of these options will probably look familiar to you. You know, do we want to show a uh, end user license agreement page? We want to set up, you know, we want to set up the language and a keyboard. We go down a little bit further and I set up my uh, domain that I want them to join, give them the credentials. I can even pump in a uh, organizational unit right here that I want the machines joined into. Uh, this is kind of a neat feature right here, remove Windows 10 consumer apps, you know, toggle yes or no. So what that's doing is, is most administrators don't want their corporate machines to have, you know, the Xbox tools and, and solitaire, things like that on there. So here's a quick and easy way just to toggle that and have all those removed as this is, uh, this is applied. We scroll down on through here and finally we'll put in our credentials for where our Workspace ONE enrollment is gonna happen. That's our enrollment point, the group, and our account to do that. So as we go to the next screen, you'll see here's the list of apps that I can select. 
Uh, to be installed at the factory, here's all of our Dell client command suite tools along with the verification tool and I've also selected Chrome. So here's our summary page. I could save and export, but I didn't make any changes. So we'll just go back and take a look at what these, uh, what the files are here. So that's where I would go in and download a package file and an unattend XML file. So those are what are gonna be used for provisioning in the factory again. So let's see what that looks like at the factory level, at the client level. So once the machine, the device at the factory has either had an image dropped on it or has been loaded from scratch, uh, we'll put it into uh, out of box experience mode, which is what this device is in. And we'll pick up here with how provisioning would work. Factory already has your package file and your unattend uh, uh, on a, either on a network drive or on a USB in this case. And we're gonna go ahead and run the provisioning tool. And then we're gonna go through and select the package file and the unattend XML file that you've downloaded from your Workspace ONE environment. So you'll see us doing that here. And then we're gonna apply that. And the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna take that package file that has all of our apps in there and it's gonna start installing them. As the apps start getting installed, you'll see they'll, you know, they'll start turning green. Google Chrome just finished. You can see the icons loading in over here as we're finishing the installs here. Obviously you could set these installs up any way you want with icons or whatnot. So then it's gonna go through and it's gonna do several other steps just to prepare the machine. And it's ultimately gonna apply that sysprep unattend XML file that you created. And you'll see that happen here in a second. There we go. Then the machine's gonna reboot several times to apply all of the settings and finish up those application installs. You'll see it's uh, joining the network at this point. And then it's gonna go through and it's gonna auto log in for the first time. And once it's finished here with the auto login, you'll see it'll come up and it'll start the Workspace ONE hub client. And it will give your user the opportunity to log in to finish the enrollment process. So there you go, your user just pumps in their credentials here and hits sign in and Workspace ONE is fully up and provisioned on this machine. It didn't even need to stop at your corporate help desk if you didn't want it to. You could have shipped this directly to a user at home and, and finished all of the provisioning here. So let's switch back over to our Workspace ONE console. And we've looked at how you can manage your Dell devices with the Dell Clack Command Suite with Workspace ONE and how to provision your devices and install your applications at the factory so they can be shipped directly to the end users and are ready to use when they get there. The last thing I'd like to talk to you about is imaging. You know, most people don't think of Workspace ONE in terms of imaging. What typically prompts you to image a device? You know, it's usually one of three situations. You wanna update drivers or patches, you're looking to update the OS, or you're trying to fix a problem. In a lot of cases, it's some combination of those three. Most imaging tools, SCCM included, have been moving towards installing Windows and applications as part of a process rather than capturing and replicating the big you know, monolithic images of old. They've been moving that way for years now. The combination of Workspace ONE and DCCS take this to an entirely new level. Let's go back at a device, take a look at a device here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we can select on uh, you know, any old device here. And you'll see over on more actions here, we have some kind of higher level options over here in the management section. The first one is Enterprise Wipe. You'd enterprise wipe a device to unenroll it and remove all managed enterprise resources, including applications and profiles. You know, this would be something you'd use on like a personal device that was using Workspace ONE to gain access to corporate resources, maybe when the employee leaves. Uh, the next one is device wipe. This sends a command to wipe the device clear of all data and operating systems. You know, think of this, this is your kind of lost or stolen mode right here where you wanna just brick the device. The last one, the enterprise reset, is really what I was referring to when I was talking about imaging. So this resets the device to a fresh Windows install, keeping the Workspace ONE uh, enrollment info. When the device resets, it automatically re-enrolls into your Workspace ONE console. It will get all the updated drivers, thanks to Dell Command Update. 
Windows 10 retains all patching and OS levels through the reset. So you'll have the current versions of your OS and patching. And then Workspace ONE will install fresh copies of all the applications that were provisioned to this device. So in effect, what you end up with is a device that's in the exact same state as if you'd imaged it on your corporate imaging network from your traditional imaging solution. You know, the big difference is this was completed wherever the device happens to be. Your end user could have been in a hotel room or working from home or on your network, it doesn't really matter. And that really is where the real power of this modern device management is with Workspace ONE and Dell Client Command Suite, is the ability to do high level and low level management from the cloud, wherever your device happens to be. So we saw how you could manage BIOS levels and settings across all of your Dell devices. We saw how you can keep all of your Dell devices up to date with current drivers. We set up factory provisioning so devices can show up already configured for your environment. And we saw how you can remotely re-image or reset a device. And with that, I'll open it up to questions. And if there aren't any, thank you for your time.